Hello you, you're back. Uh, this video we're gonna look at, see this nav? Yes, it's a nav, it's a very minimalist nav, but the cool thing about it is that it sticks to the top and things scroll underneath it and you can kind of see them. Okay, does the same here for this footer down the bottom, it's stuck to the bottom. It's relatively easy to do, you use the sticky option in position. If you are here because you've done that and it just doesn't work, all you need to do is set the top number to zero and you'll be away. But for people who have never done it before, let's dive in. All right, we're covering it now. Our menu is not looking very good, but we've got a nav bar along the top, a bit of an ugly old button in it. So imagine a beautiful navigation that you want to stick to the top. I do it in this part of the course, even though the nav's not completely finished because we're in the layout section of the course. So I wanna kind of keep it all together. So sticky is weird. It's easy and it is tricky. Ooh, see what I did, <laughs> see what I did there? All right, uh, so I've got whatever I want, okay, to stick to the top. I go to position. There's this option in here that says sticky, and then you go preview, and it doesn't work. Okay, the only thing you need to do is say the sticky needs to it needs a height. Okay, and in this case, I want it to stick to right on the top. So I'm gonna hit zero, hit enter. Now, command shift P, control shift P on a uh, PC. Look at that, it's stuck there. Look at us. Thing we might do if you are gonna do a sticky nav, you don't have to do a sticky nav, is that this navigation has a background color of white. I might lower the opacity a little bit so that we can do some peeking underneath it. Okay, so that, let's have a look now. It even works in display mode, you can see here, in the designer, you don't have to preview. You might decide on how you do this, okay. Do I like it? It probably needs to be darker. I want to just hint at what's underneath it, okay? Don't want to actually cover it. Oh, Z-Index. <laughs> uh, I was going to pretend I did this on purpose. Why is that above it? Why is all the rest of it below it? You remember the Z-Index. Okay, so I'm going to say that this navigation is going to be set to a Z-Index of, I'm going to use 10, not 100, okay? It gives me... On this page, another one, two, you know, it gives me 10 or nine other options. You can put in negative Zs, okay? Nine other options for stacking, okay? You might make your navigation, as a rule, in your own head, 100. And then you've got 100 bits of stacking, but you know 100 is where your nav goes. So now it's above. Understand? Kind of. All right, the same is true if you want a footer. Footer, you probably don't want to be sticky. Maybe it's like a call to action or some sort of like, notification okay so that might be a thing you want to do so let's add a section down the bottom you can't go in there get in there hard to get in the right spot i'm going to call this one section footer okay and you can do the same thing i'm going to add a background color just to make it obvious okay and i'm going to do the same thing let's get it to sticky to not the top but the bottom to set that to zero Okay, and that should work. Um, it's gonna work in here. See that, it's kind of stuck there. Up to you whether you find that useful or not. People don't do it very often, but people do like to ask me how to do it. Um, so there you go. The one thing about it though, the section here, uh, what, where'd it go? Who remembers? That's right, it doesn't have a height. <laughs> so it really needs a size of a minimum, let's go minimum height. Let's do 50 pixels. Okay, might be just a little bit of text in there to explain there's a sale on or something else. Click here. All right, that is it. Sticky navigation, sticky footers. Just remember to set the top, okay, to zero or some sort of number for the navigation and then something for the bottom for our footer. And you might have to mess around with Z-index if things are going underneath. Oh, can't check mine because <laughs> my, my can't scroll up high enough to get this to go underneath. Let's have a look maybe in this one. Can't do it there either. All right, that's enough. I'll see you in the next video. That, my friend, is the end of the video, uh, but not the end of the course. Uh, the video you just watched, um, it is a small part of my larger course called Webflow Essentials. So if you enjoyed the video, my teaching style, there'll be a card up here you can click or a link in the description, okay? And come join me for the full course. Uh, like the video as well if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more stuff but hopefully see you in the course. Bye.